All right, so this is a two-line salamander, southern two-line southern two -line salamander that we found here Amherst in Amherst County, Virginia. Amherst County, Virginia. In that little, tr do you have a good video of them already? Pretty clear. Zoom it in and out a couple times. Is it clear? Yep. All, right. All right, good. Get get that. The trickle. This was its habitat. Right here. All right. All right, still in that same stream in Amherst County, Virginia. Here's another two line showing just the inklings of a third line, but definitely not a three line salamander. Southern two line, your Surya Surigara, March 7th, 2015. My second salamander of the year at about 4.45 in the afternoon here. Sitting in a little trickle. We are uh, in George Washington National Forest, probably a bobcat track, maybe a cougar, small cougar. Uh, I'm seeing a cat print underneath this beech leaf. There are a couple of them. It's really hard to make on the video camera, but there are four toe imprints. There's a back pad. There are no nail marks, and it's about yay big around. Uh, this is just a view of the Blue Ridge Mountains in front of us. Lexington, Virginia. I just thought this was kind of ironic. We have a rusty tractor here with an American flag flying. Over there we have a Confederate flag uh, set against the backdrop of the... Uh, Allegheny Mountains to our west and the Shenandoah Mountains. And Lexington, of course, is the home of the Virginia Military Institute. And a lot of the uh, cadets who were trained to become members of the United States military at the time when the Upper South seceded after Fort Sumter then went and fought for the Confederacy. So a lot of Civil War history here in Lexington and in the Shenandoah Valley. It's a very hotly contested area during the American Civil War. All right recording? Yeah. All right, we're still in that same stream. Um, at, at the head of this little seepage, I found this uh, northern dusky salamander of genus Desmognathus, Desmognathus fuscus. I'll try to hold him still so we get some good uh, some good video of him. Put him back in the stream in a minute. These are probably uh, just about the most common salamanders east of the Mississippi River once you get uh, onto the Allegheny Plateau south of Interstate 7. All right, this is the New River Gorge in West Virginia, crossing over. We are in uh, central Kentucky, uh, Fayette County, and uh, we have found a northern zigzag salamander this morning in the woodlands just off the road. He's got a zigzag stripe down his back, which is barely visible, which is how he gets his name. I'm trying to get it this, I mean, the... Uh, the glare coming off of them is making it tough to see. I'll get a close-up for you. Woodland salamander of middle and low elevations here in Kentucky. See that zigzag stripe there? Right there. He's got the reddish on the tail where that stripe ends way down his tail right there. For once my footage is turning out well. On that road in central Kentucky about 9.05, 9.10 10 a.m. now. Just getting footage of another two zigzags we found under the same log. I know they're pretty common salamanders in Tennessee and Kentucky, but I've never seen one before, and I'm real excited about it. So I'll get this first one first. He's a sub-adult, not quite as large as the other. He's got a brighter red stripe on him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him from a couple of angles. You can tell I'm not very good with the video camera. Well, I'm all right, I'm not that good with it. It's got the silver speckling on the tail there, a brilliant red stripe. And here's the bigger adult, it's all grayish. There's his side. Speckled down his back, black spots on the head there. His stripe is kind of faded here. He's old? Yeah. Break out the Springsteen, baby, we're on fire! Alright, so this is Ambistema barbori. It's a species I've been chasing for three years down here in southwest Ohio and central Kentucky. Hold it still. Uh, it's the only mole salamander in the... Alright, so this mm -hmm. is, like we said, it's a streamside salamander. I'm just going to get a close-up of his whole body. It's got the head of a smallmouth, if you see right there. They're very closely related to smallmouth salamanders. 
Um, Mom said the locality, location, and the last one, so that clip won't make it to YouTube. But for everybody watching on YouTube and not our family archives, where I give out the specific locale, uh, we're in central Kentucky, Fayette County, and uh, beautiful salamander I found right in the stream. And I was going to talk a little, once I set them back, I'll get some video of that, about the competitive exclusion principle, how it relates to business, and this beautiful salamander here. Strange, I didn't find her with any eggs. Uh, normally the only streamside salamanders you see this late in the season, as it is March 11th at about 11 a.m., are the females that are still guarding eggs. Nonetheless, we'll take it. He's going to go back to the creek. Here he is on a rock. We're going to, I'm going to put him under the rock, which I flipped back. I found him under in just a second here. Or her, rather. Though she wasn't guarding eggs, as I previously said, and I find that a little strange in March. Beautiful salamander. Streamside in situ, going back into his habitat there beneath those rocks in the stream. Just a view of the scenery where we found the streamside. There's a little tributary and there's the rushing torrent to which it connects. Dammed up by a little tree that fell across the path right there. All right, this is uh, our third stream side. I didn't get video of the second. Very blunt nose on this one. Very strong bluish gray pattern right around the legs. Back toward the tail, brilliant silver speckling. This one's a little smaller, almost a sub-adult. Nolan found this one in the stream, which is, of course, in central Kentucky Fayette County. And I'll, I'll get some video of this one squiggling back into the stream real quick.